Tang Ran Ran said she is very familiar with the business of traveling through the cultivation world once and the interstellar world twice. I originally only wanted to be a rice worm, but conditions didn't allow it. At the beginning, it was just a few hundred billion yuan loan in a project that was about to go bankrupt. What should I do? I can only bury my head in my career. Relying on the Golden Finger Farm to work hard to grow vegetables, Tang Ran Ran cultivates, earns money, broadcasts live, uses armor, and kills insects p.s. female lead upgrade stream, with male lead, but not many scenes. Keywords of the novel Rich All-Star, starting from vegetable planting without pop-ups, Rich All-Star, starting from vegetable planting. Download the full text collection, Rich All-Star, starting from vegetable planting. Latest chapter reading Chapter 1 Starting with a negative second generation You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 1 Starting with a negative second generation surrounded by metal walls on all sides, and in the center of the square room, there is a luxurious leather king's bed that is out of place with the metal room. Tang Ran Ran, who had just woken up, stretched out her hands and legs and lay in a large font on top of the high dot end customized Zemengsi, staring at the metal ceiling in a daze. Without waiting for her to contemplate life from the ceiling, the intelligent brain on her left wrist issued a communication prompt. Ah, I'm so annoyed. With a sigh in her heart, Tang Ran Ran, who was familiar with the world, used her spiritual power to open up the personal intelligence brain on her left wrist, which was similar in shape to a mechanical watch. Smart Brain, an upgraded version of mobile phone, integrates many functions such as ID card, computer, phone, key, wallet, etc. It is a must that have for every citizen in this interstellar world. And spiritual power is the fundamental skill of most people in this world's interstellar world. Just like eating or drinking water and reaching out to hit someone, the common ways of using mental power are almost instinctive for people in this world. Why is it said to be this world? Because Tang Ran Ran traveled through time, just over an hour ago, her soul pierced into this world. With less than a day, she basically mastered the basic information of this world and the relevant situation of her original body. After all, it's not the first time I've traveled, it's like being reborn and becoming familiar again. Well, not to mention the bravery of the past, thinking too much is like tears. Returning to her eyes, Tang Ran Ran tilted her head slightly, her gaze turned, and she saw a light screen projected in the air by the intelligent brain subject resembling a dial. On the screen, there is a young male face with a straight and slightly handsome facial features, and a very unique note. Annoying and refined. It's not a group of miscellaneous Tang family members like the seven ants and eight ants. According to the information Tang Ran Ran has, Yen Xing is one of her secretaries, which seems to be a serious matter and needs to be taken over. Lazy to raise her hand, Tang Ran Ran used her spiritual power to choose the invisible voice call mode. As soon as the communication was connected, there was no good way to communicate. I'm really annoyed early in the morning, are you just eating lunch? What's there that I can't solve on my own? Originally, she was a stubborn CEO who rose to power as a wealthy second-generation lady. Her attitude towards the servants and subordinates who worked for her was always superior. Therefore, as a newcomer, she had to maintain an arrogant and impolite demeanor with her nose in the air, and play the role of this stubborn CEO well, commonly known as being hypocritical to avoid suspicion. Mr. Tang, I'm sorry to bother you. After receiving a scolding, Yen Xing's anxious and worried expression on his face paused. He first apologized and then hurriedly said, But Mr. Tang, things are not going well. The employees are on strike. What, they dare to strike. I hired them at a high salary, but they dare to strike. We can't get used to them. You tell them, if you don't want to do it, get out of here. Tang Ran Ran said angrily. But. Yen Xing hesitated and said, Mr. Tang, according to the contract, if we dismiss them, we need to compensate a penalty for breach of contract. What, penalty for breach of contract? 
you figure it out, they went on strike, they defaulted first. On the surface, Tang Ran Ran was so arrogant that she panicked inwardly. After finishing her job, the mess she had left behind was not so easy to clean up. Mr. Tang, our contract states that we provide an absolutely safe environment to ensure the personal safety of our employees. However, yesterday, due to the attack of sand dune soil insects, more than 10 employees were injured, and even three died. According to the Imperial Labor Law, we need to make high compensation for the injured and deceased. So, what they mean is compensation, and then a salary increase. Tang Ran Ran asked. Tang Ran Ran was very clear about yesterday's casualties. The original group probably obtained the right to transform and use a barren star, and the original group brought a lot of employees to this barren star, first planting trees. Yesterday, she and a few people sat in a car and arrived at an area where trees were being planted to check the planting situation. Just as she got off the car and looked left and right, looking around for a while, suddenly, the ground surged and several large earthworms emerged from underneath. That kind of pillar thick, a few meters high, full of fangs, capable of swallowing people in one gulp. It is what Yen Xing referred to as sand dune soil worm. The ferocious appearance of the sand dune worm and the terrifying scene of cannibalism frightened the original body. It stood still on the spot, followed by a large earthworm rushing towards it. The original body's eyes turned black, and then then there was no more. Open your eyes again and you'll see her. Working in a place where life cannot be guaranteed and demanding extra money, Tang Ran Ran understood rationally, but now she is the boss. If you want to compensate, you need to add money. It's her who will lose money. Yes, Mr. Tang. I have already talked to them and several employee representatives have the same idea. They demand that the injured employees be cured at all costs and that high compensation be given to the deceased employees. They also propose to clarify the compensation for injuries and fatalities, write it into the contract, provide detailed safety measures, and increase their salaries. Otherwise, a group of troublemakers, do they want to go to heaven? Otherwise, what? Tang Ran Ran snorted coldly, continuing to portray the headstrong young lady. Otherwise, they will go on strike and apply for labor arbitration to the labor bureau. They dare. Tang Ran Ran exclaimed in her heart, I'm done with my child. But on her face, she continued to be coquettish and capricious, deliberately asking, what about Rong Rong? What did she say? As soon as Tang Ran Ran asked Pan Rong Rong, Yen Xing's tone showed a hint of helplessness, full of disapproval. Pan Tezu's intention was to dismiss the striking employees, but Mr. Tang, if we were to dismiss them, we would not be able to pay the relevant compensation and breach of contract damages. Hmm. No money. Tang Ran Ran was slightly stunned, wasn't she originally a wealthy second dot generation? That kind of wealthy second dot generation who lost their parents, inherited a huge inheritance, had a car, a house, a company, and even a spaceship and a planet. How could there be no money? Uh, time is too rushed, she just got a rough idea. Is there any detail she doesn't know? Are all assets borrowed? After all, the larger the group, the higher the debt. Yes, the funding for the first phase of the planet building project has exceeded the budget. Yen Xingwei, and this sand dune soil insect attack was accidental, causing economic losses that are not included in the budget. Even if the budget is insufficient, we must first overcome the difficulties in front of us. Tang Ran Ran blurted out, then thought of something and continued to ask, Su Jun, that guy doesn't approve the payment. Yes, Mr. Tang and Mr. Pan applied to Manager Su, but he was rejected by Manager Su. Pan Rongrong has already applied to Su Jun. Good guy, this is taking over responsibilities. Don't take care of her as the CEO. A special assistant, who gives her the power. Okay, it's the power given by the original. Yes. Manager Su said that the first phase of the construction project has seriously exceeded the budget, 
and the remaining funds are not enough to maintain the budget. If you withdraw again, you may not even be able to pay your salary in two months. Mr. Tang, if you continue to misappropriate the budget, I'm afraid Su Jun will chew his tongue in front of the shareholders. If we hold a board meeting, it may be detrimental to you. Yen Xing didn't say anything later, but Tang Ran Ran understood that as soon as the board of directors opened, she was afraid that she would be fired as the CEO. Tang Ran Ran's small head had several big question marks. Was the former domineering and capricious CEO of the New Yang Group, and wasn't the New Yang Group the inheritance left to her by the unfortunate father who passed away at a young age? Does she inherit not enough shares, less than 50% or more, and if the board of directors joins forces, she will step down? But aren't there also several Tang family members on the board of directors? Seize power. After some conspiracy theories, Tang Ran Ran, who was unaware of the situation, could only say, Yen Xing, go talk to the employee representatives about the compensation for injuries and fatalities. If it's reasonable, first pay from my personal account and appease them. Mr. Tang, I'm afraid your personal funds are not enough. Tang Ran Ran once again raised a big question mark. Before going to bed, she had already read it, and there were tens of millions of dollars lying in her intellectual personal account. Moreover, she has a house, a car, a spaceship, and a lot of real estate. Mr. Tang, can't even afford to pay compensation for any injuries or fatalities. Is the compensation for casualties in the interstellar era particularly high? Or is inflation, tens of millions of dollars just a drizzle? If it's not enough. Apply for a mortgage loan, Tang Ran Ran said with a heart-wrenching expression, exchanging the mortgaged property for some money to overcome the current difficulties first. Uh, Mr. Tang, you won't forget, will you? The large amount of property you inherited, including shares, has almost all been mortgaged by Mr. Tang and cannot be borrowed again. Moreover, on the 15th of next month, a loan of 3.2 billion yuan will be repaid. Yen Xing's words were not surprising, adding a wave of details to Tang Ran Ran that she didn't understand. Tang Ran Ran. What? Is it really a loan default? It's a bolt from the blue. She is actually a negative second generation. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Another Double Crossing. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2. Another double crossing upon learning that she still owed a loan to the bank, Tang Ran Ran ignored everything else and immediately asked Yen Xing to compile a report on her loan situation. As a qualified secretary, Yen Xing is well versed in this, let alone handling numerous loan repayments. After finishing the communication, it only took five minutes for Yen Crossing to send the loan report to Tang Ran Ran. Upon receiving the report, Yen Xing was sent to negotiate with the employee representative. Tang Ran Ran couldn't wait to look at the information, and then her whole body was like a bottle of 82-year-old ice and snow blue that had been soaked, crystal clear, and heart-chilling. Good guy, it's all loans. Not only have all the houses, cars, and spaceships under their original names been mortgaged, but the biggest one is that 52% of Xin Liang's shares have also been fully mortgaged. According to the report statistics, she owes a total of 534.5 billion to the bank. This bloody reality. From a wealthy second generation to a negative second generation, Tang Ran Ran only felt that life was unattainable. After standing upright in bed for two minutes, Tang Ran Ran obediently got up. They had already arrived, so she had to work hard to live. Tang Ran Ran was originally a humble worker living in modern times. In order to have a premarital house, she worked overtime and worked hard to become the king of exams on the basis of 996. In the end, she stayed up all night for two nights to get a promotion spot, and then went to the streets. Perhaps the heavens could not stop her. When she opened her eyes again, Tang Ran Ran realized that she had become a newborn baby, still in the ancient world. After another period of time, Tang Ran Ran knew what ancient times were. It was clearly a world of cultivation, 
and she was still a second-generation cultivator. The world of cultivation is great, and those who cultivate it are called longevity. But the world of cultivation is also dangerous. When she was six years old, several sects coveted the immortal plants of their Dan sect and joined forces to attack them. The scene of bloodstained sky and corpses everywhere frightened Tang Ranran, who then hid in the sect and continued to develop for three thousand years. Finally, she achieved the achievement of crossing the tribulation period and stood at the peak of the world, becoming one of the top ten ancestors in the world. Only then did she dare to step out of the sect. Speaking of that day, oh, yesterday, time returned to about twelve hours ago, before she traveled that day, the wind was sunny and sunny, it was a nice day. Stepping on my beloved little flying sword it never blocks. Tang Ran Ran, with his feet shining brightly and his feet shining brightly, was dressed in a water blue top dot grade magic robe. With his flowing clothes, Tang Ran Ran enjoyed the joy of flying with his sword, humming a little donkey in his heart with joy. Just as Tang Ran Ran had just started, he suddenly felt a sudden surge of coldness all over his body. He was immediately startled by this damn sense of crisis. As the ancestor of crossing the tribulation, her keen sixth sense told her. It's over. Immediately, with a sudden break, Tang Ran Ran pulled out a top-dot-notch divination tool from space. Although her specialty was alchemy, as a child who grew up under compulsory education, she always remembered the comprehensive development of morality, intelligence, physical fitness, aesthetics, and labor. Therefore, she still had a superficial understanding of divination. Just before Tang Ran Ran could use his magical tools to fully utilize this divination skill, the originally bright sky gathered black, like ink, which slowly darkened the entire sky at a visible speed to the naked eye. With a jump in her eyelids and a tingling scalp, Tang Ran Ran's heart drifted with a word. Gone. All right, there's no need to use her superficial skills. For the scene above, any cultivator knows. Thunder. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Although she has been struggling for hundreds of years during the transition period, she didn't want to soar. She has suppressed cultivation and has not reached the peak of crossing tribulations. You shouldn't have been struck by lightning. Although Tang Ran Ran felt that this was not in line with the theology of cultivation, thunder would fall from the sky, either soaring or flying ashes. Fly ash. Being blasted into ashes by lightning and flying in the air. Biting her teeth, Tang Ran Ran could only grit her scalp and quickly select a piece of empty space below to land in the first place. Various top-dot-notch defense formations were arranged, various top-dot-notch defense tools were sacrificed, various top-dot-notch runes were used, and various top-dot-notch pills were left at hand as a promiscuous and lewd person, although Tang Ran Ran did not intend to soar, she had already made sufficient preparations for it. Although she is a little homestead, has no practical experience, and has little mood, she has kryptonite and kryptonite. She has carried through all the thunder tribulations ahead, so this time it shouldn't be difficult. Although confident in her heart, Tang Ran Ran, as a traveler from modern times to the world of cultivation, was well versed in various cultivation novels. In most of the cultivation techniques, Feisheng is a conspiracy by the upper realm to plunder the population of the next generation. When she flies up, she will not be guarded by the people of the upper realm, taken away by others, captured as a strong soldier, or used as a cauldron amidst various conspiracy theories in Tang Ran Ran's heart, Lei Jia came straight with a tremendous momentum of destroying the heavens and earth. Abandoning distractions, Tang Ran Ran fought against Lei Jia seriously. Together too the sky and earth were filled with electric light and silver sky, and amidst the white light, spiritual power was rapidly depleting. Tang Ran Ran only felt that it was becoming more and more difficult. In the end, accompanied by the extremely dazzling white light, his eyes turned black, dee 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 dee. The unique metal alarm sound of the instrument transmitted to the eardrums, making Tang Ran Ran's slightly hazy consciousness clear for the most part. When she opened her eyes, she was transported to this world. Coincidentally, the original owner of the corpse worn by Tang Ran Ran's soul, 
also known as Tang Ran Ran, had the same name, surname, pronunciation, and character. The place where Tang Ran Ran woke up was inside the radiation therapy equipment in the radiation therapy room of the military hospital at the military base on the planet. Wild stars, the most terrifying thing is not desolation, but high radiation. Here are some common knowledge that Tang Ran Ran learned. In the interstellar world, many planets have radiation, and the vast majority of citizens possess spiritual power. One of the basic skills of mental power is the mental barrier, which is used to isolate radiation. Almost every citizen with mental power will have it. As a headstrong CEO, Ginchen Impact naturally had bodyguards around her. It was obvious that after being scared unconscious by sand dune worms, the bodyguards promptly protected her and saved her, but her spiritual barrier collapsed and was radiated. Yesterday, Tang Ran Ran, whose radiation value had cleared to zero and had recovered in the eyes of the doctor, made some changes to her character and learned about her basic situation. On the way back from the butler and driver, she had already spoken their words. The truth is. After the original body fainted, it was indeed the bodyguard who saved the original body from the bloody mouth of the sand dune beetle. However, due to radiation, the rescued original body developed a high fever. Later, due to his privileged identity, the original body was sent to a military hospital for treatment. Unfortunately, the original body should have belonged to the kind of delicate and weak body. She didn't make it through and threw herself into the street. Now it's her. The current situation that Tang Ran Ran has learned is as follows. Tang Ran Ran, originally 22 years old, originally had a happy family. Unfortunately, in October last year, her parents were killed by interstellar pirates while riding a passenger spacecraft. Both parents passed away and inherited a large inheritance, becoming a wealthy and isolated family. Oh, no, there are also uncles, 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 and aunts. As for why did a wealthy second dot generation who inherited a large inheritance become a negative second dot generation? Yesterday was too hasty for the first time, and I only focused on learning common sense. Early this morning, I was reminded by Yen Xing, and Tang Ran Ran immediately began to reminisce in more detail. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 The Adventureful and Unfortunate Cheap Dad You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 The Adventureful and Unfortunate Cheap Dad With the residual memories of her original body and the assistance of her intelligent brain, Tang Ran Ran had already gained a rough understanding of the world background and common sense before going to bed last night. The humans in this world have broken free from the shackles of planets and entered the vast sea of stars, creating a highly technologically advanced interstellar world. According to history, it is said that humans in this interstellar world originated from the aqua blue star in the solar system. Ten thousand years ago, with the high development of technology, pollution became increasingly severe, and the environment was no longer suitable for human survival. Eventually, their ancestors, the Blue Star people, piloted spacecraft to leave Aqua Blue Star in search of new habitats. After thousands of years of exploration, humans discovered this habitable Atad elliptical galaxy with tens of thousands of stars, and thus stopped wandering and thrived here. After the end of the exploration period, there was a long period of war, where humans and the alien races, beasts, plants, and insects within the galaxy engaged in a survival war for the continuation of the race's survival. After a survival war that lasted for thousands of years, the situation was basically stable, forming a tripartite confrontation between the alien, zerg, and human races. As the saying goes, contradictions are divided into external and internal. After the external contradictions ease, contradictions within humanity begin. After a hundred years of civil war, humanity ultimately divides into two camps and establishes two great nations. The Flame Dragon Empire and the Mosaic Federation. Oh, there is also a middle ground, belonging to the Free Alliance, which has two independent positions and more members of heinous star thieves and wanted criminals. Although the Free Alliance claims to be the third great power of humanity, it is just talking to itself, 
and neither the Empire or the Federation recognize its national status. Anyway, the year of the establishment of the Empire and the Federation was designated as the Star Age, and now it is the Star Age 2315. Although the interstellar pattern is generally stable, it does not mean that there is no war. Small-scale wars may occasionally occur. Humans and Zergs fight, humans and Zergs fight, humans and beasts fight, empires and federations fight. Relatively speaking, Wars between humans and Zergs are the most frequent, with occasional battles. The original identity of Tang Ranran's soul piercing is an imperial citizen, and this is the border of the empire. The YS.212 planet she is currently on is one of the neighboring border planets between the empire and the Zerg. Just two years ago, there was still a battlefield star for the Zerg to fight on this planet. Here I have to say, there is a bully figure. Marshal Yen Qian, currently recognized as the strongest in the empire. This guy led his army in Zerg to fight and snatched back more than ten planets, pushing the entire front forward. YS.212 is one of them, currently defined as a habitable planet that belongs to the empire and is under construction. However, although the ownership of the planet has been seized, a planet that has been plagued by the Zerg tribe is like a locust passing through, leaving nothing behind. The Zerg have very good teeth, animals, plants, minerals. Except for things they cannot reach in the deep sea, things on land and in shallow water, the Zerg almost never let go of anything. So, the current situation on YS.212 planet is that the vegetation is extremely sparse, with a coverage area of less than 5%. The entire land area is desolate, and there are still a small number of leaky insects remaining underground, including sand dune soil worms. Most of the ocean regions on the planet have not been damaged, and the oxygen layer is still present, so YS.212 has been determined as a habitable planet to be transformed. Investing in the construction of a planet while it is still in a desolate state, if the transformation is successful, you can take control of the planet and become its owner. You should know that a normal planet is priceless for the average person and cannot be bought with money. So, once the YS.212 planet is successfully transformed, it will not only bring huge benefits, but also a leap in social status. Well, big cakes or something, they are painted very beautifully. Well, my original father believed it and fell for it, spending a lot of money to obtain the exclusive investment and renovation rights for the YS.212 planet. Yesterday, in a hurry, I learned a rough idea that Tang Ran Ran was nothing but a cheap father with no human nature, but with such deep memories. Cool. Combining Yen Xing's lone information with his memories, Tang Ran Ran felt like vomiting blood. A vast planet, still a barren star, undergoing renovation and construction is definitely not a small amount. Just the security deposit paid to the military alone is a whopping 500 billion yuan. This 500 billion deposit comes from a loan. At this point, I have to mention my original family background. The Empire has 15 major galaxies, each with a dozen to dozens of human habitable planets. The entire Empire has over 500 habitable planets, with a total population of over 100 billion. The Tang family was originally an ordinary family on a planet in the seventh star system, with some small money, at best considered as an ordinary wealthy family in the upper middle class. My original mother's name is Qin Yu, and she seems to be an orphan. To be special, she has a relatively high level of mental strength. My original father's name was Tang Qingji, and he was a very adventurous person. His history of making a fortune can be described as both exciting and thrilling. The empire has a vast territory, with not only fully developed inhabited planets, but also numerous planets suitable for human habitation that are still under development and construction, or that have not yet been developed by the military. Within the Empire, undeveloped planets belong to the Free Star, and Imperial citizens have the right to explore on the Free Star. Once a treasure is discovered, it belongs to the citizens, and of course, taxes must be paid. Tang Qingji registered as a mercenary as soon as he reached adulthood, and then went on an adventure to Freedom Star with less than a million yuan in entrepreneurial funds. 
After accumulating the first initial funds, Tang Qingji recruited troops and expanded his team. He formed a detection team and, probably lucky, traveled between several free stars. The exploration team discovered two rare mineral sources and earned billions of dollars. Freedom Star is full of danger, definitely licking blood with a knife that ties its head to its waistband. With the help of two mineral sources, Tang Qingji advanced to a net worth of billions, and then turned his gaze to the safe mineral star. More than 50 years ago, Tang Qingji spent most of his family's assets to acquire the 100-year usage rights of a resource-depleted mineral star, attempting to find a leak on the planet and detect several overlooked mineral deposits. A mineral star with depleted resources is a planet where all valuable resources have been mined and are almost indistinguishable from a waste star. Tang Qingji did not find the missing mineral deposit, but fortunately, he discovered a brand new edible plant and achieved artificial cultivation in a certain area. Subsequently, Tang Qingji and his team developed a brand new plant-based nutrient solution using the plant as an adjunct. Nutrient solution, the main food of interstellar humans, is used by most people to fill their stomachs. With this new type of nutrient solution, Tang Qingji switched careers and entered the nutrient solution manufacturing industry, establishing the Xinliang Group. It has to be said that Tang Qingji is a businessman with a strong gambling spirit, who likes to pursue high returns, which often come with high risks. After decades of stability, Tang Qingji couldn't sit still after receiving news about the border planet renovation and construction project. After conducting on-dot site inspections, he couldn't help but take action and took the exclusive renovation and construction rights of the YS.212 planet at all costs. End of this chapter 4. Chapter 4. Extra Large Troubles You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4. Extra Large Troubles Exclusive Renovation and Construction Rights for YS.212 Planet this is definitely a big project with a deposit of 500 billion yuan. Tang Qingji's behavior is definitely a desperate gamble. As stated in those two words, seeking wealth and insurance, take a chance, and turn a bicycle into a motorcycle. After reading the materials, Tang Ranran was very clear that for this project, Tang Qingji almost mortgaged all of his large assets. Probably always lucky, Tang Qingji firmly believed that the YS.212 planet would bring him enormous profits and double his assets. Tang Qingji had a great preparation to grind his fists, but unfortunately, the project had not yet started, and the couple encountered the star thief. There is no other way, the money has already been invested. Even if someone dies, the project must continue, otherwise it will be worthless. Therefore, the original Tang Ranran stood up and personally led the team to the YS.212 planet to carry out the project. Then, the original body also hit the street. The original family can only be said to have bad luck. After picking up the body of the original body, if conditions permit in the future, Tang Ranran will burn paper for the original body's family, hoping that they will continue to be wealthy in their next life. After burning incense for her original body in her heart, Tang Ranran felt a great headache. The current situation is a huge mess. After the death of Tang Qingji and his wife, because both of them had left wills during their lifetime, all the inheritance belonged to their original owner Tang Ranran. Mother Qin Yu doesn't have much money, and her big head comes from her father's side. However, almost all of Tang Qingji's inheritance is in a mortgage state. Tang Qingji's 52% stake in Xinliang has been fully mortgaged. The small spaceship under the couple's name has been mortgaged. All the properties under Tang Qingji's name have been mortgaged out. All mortgage loans. So, if this project goes wrong not only has the money already invested been wasted, but the huge deposit of 500 billion yuan cannot be retrieved. This loss is huge and cannot be described in two words. It is definitely a complete bankruptcy. But if we don't give up, if we continue. You should know that Tang Qingji was pushing aside the public opinion and acting alone for this project. Moreover, the border is like war, and ordinary people are afraid and distant from the Zerg. 
That's also why after the accidental death of Tang Qingji and his wife, the directors and senior management of the group were unwilling to take over, and in the end, it was only the young man who stood up. Due to money, Tang Ranran was bald, while on the battlefield, Tang Ranran was not only bald, but also timid. Although the front line has been pushed forward, this planet has become the border of the empire. However, if the Zerg attack again the Wan Bien Defense Army fails to block it, such as the YS.212 planet, it will be the first to suffer. A large amount of capital investment, even if the planet is successfully renovated, there is still a possibility of losing it in the end. Tang Ranran seriously suspected that Tang Qingji, the cheap father, had been deceived into being the scapegoat. The more important thing in transforming the planet was military function, right? Even if no one takes over, the military will still take action, right? After all, after the successful transformation of the planet, there will be green. With the love of insects for plants, if insects make a comeback, the YS.212 planet with green can serve as a buffer. If the YS.212 planet is still desolate, wouldn't the insects keep moving backwards without stopping? From a strategic perspective, it is necessary to transform the planet. But now she doesn't want to be the big spender. Hey, hey Tang Ranran's heart was actually more inclined to give up now, and sometimes timely stop loss is the right thing to do. Okay, the most important thing is that she is hesitant, after all, there are still remnants of the Zerg tribe here. Although the military has several military production bases on the planet, there are military forces responsible for maintaining the safety of the planet. It's just that the military on this planet has only a few people, and the planet is so big that there are always places to take care of. Well, yesterday's accident was a vivid example. Little life is important. She doesn't want to follow in the footsteps of her original self. Danger, danger, danger. I want to cover up a safe planet within my territory, but the word bankruptcy is so heavy. So, in order not to go bankrupt and continue to be wealthy, we cannot give up easily. Thinking of the Zerg tribe, Tang Ranran sat down for his own safety, crossed his legs and pinched his fingers, in a standard posture of cultivating immortals. Yesterday, while traveling through the military hospital, she tried it, but did not feel any spiritual energy. Perhaps, time is too short. The connection between this interstellar world and personal strength is spiritual power, and the higher the spiritual power, the higher the strength. The mental power rating is E divided by D divided by C divided by B divided by A divided by S divided by 2S divided by 3S divided by 4S. It is said that the highest rating is 5S, but according to online reports, the highest rating among humans is currently 4S. It is said online that the Empire has two 4S dealerships, one is the strongest marshal, and the other seems to be a retired veteran marshal. Anyway, whether it's the 4S or 5S, it's very far away from Tang Ran Ran. She inherited her original C.Level spiritual power. This level is considered above average among humans. According to data statistics, only 20% of the Empire's citizens can achieve C.Level spiritual power, which is also an entry.level level for manipulating mechs, and is a watershed existence. On the other hand, S.Level is a major watershed, as S.Level psychics may comprehend abilities and become disaster-level powerhouses. What is a natural disaster-level powerhouse? It was this person who, with one move, unleashed the power of destruction and terror, as if a natural disaster had struck. Of course, these are all online materials. As of now, in the common sense that Tang Ran Ran has mastered. As soon as humans are born, their spiritual talent is established. As they grow from a young state, their spiritual power also slowly grows. Then, at the age of 21 to 30, their spiritual power stabilizes and continues to maintain this peak state until around 120 years old. As the body enters the aging period, their spiritual power will also decline synchronously with the body, leading to weakness. There is a certain synchronization between spiritual power and human physical state, 
and the level of spiritual power is only related to the age of talent and cannot be cultivated. Oh, it is said online that spiritual power cannot be cultivated, and ordinary people think so. Tang Ran Ran suspected that there might be a secret to spiritual cultivation or a secret treasure to enhance spiritual power, but ordinary people were unaware of it. Anyway, Tang Qingji's mental strength is at the C. level, while Qin Yu's mental strength is at a higher B. level. According to genetics in her current 22. year. old C. level, before reaching the age of 30, she may reach her mother Qin Yu's B. level strength, or even surpass her to reach A. level. As for higher S. levels, relying on genetics is not realistic unless there is a miracle. So, to enhance one's spirit and strive to become a natural disaster level strong person or something, just why why it in your mind, and more realistically, cultivate immortality. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. The Gap Between Billion Trenches and Trillion Trenches. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5. The gap between billion trenches and trillion trenches putting herself in a standard posture for cultivating immortality, Tang Ran Ran once again tried to bring her spirit into her body. After more than an hour of hard work and serious experience, she chose to give up when her stomach was growling with hunger. Shouldn't it be too late? I didn't feel any spiritual energy at all. A single strand of hair has no spiritual energy. Is it because there is no spiritual energy in the interstellar world and one cannot cultivate immortality? Or is it that this body lacks spiritual roots? There was no spirit testing stone in her hand, and Tang Ran Ran didn't know that her body now had wood and spiritual roots. Tang Ran Ran, who couldn't cultivate immortality, sighed deeply in her heart. Thinking of her, Tang Ran Ran traveled through time like an ascetic monk, wholeheartedly pursuing the path. She either practiced in seclusion or delved into the professional technique of alchemy. Without leaving the door, she persevered for three thousand years, day after day, year after year. Not three years, not thirty years, not three hundred years, but three thousand years. After three thousand years of hard work, she finally succeeded in her lewd development and became the ancestor of the entire continent who had less than two hands to cross the tribulation period. Finally, she was able to go out of the waves, and as a result, she just flew out of the door of the Dan sect. Don't mention the waves, not a single splash of water splashed. She was killed by lightning strike. And even into this interstellar world where immortality cannot be cultivated. It's like the listener is sad and the listener is crying. Hey. 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 After a few minutes of reminiscing, Tang Ran Ran faced reality with strength and said nothing, eating first. After waking up and washing up, Tang Ran Ran's mental energy moved and she took out a tube of nutrient solution from the spatial buckle. The characteristic of the interstellar era is the spatial buckle, a small circular metal buckle with a diameter of one centimeter, attached to the strap of the intelligent brain. There is about one cubic meter of space inside, which can be used to retrieve and store items with spiritual power. It also functions as a mustard bag in the cultivation world, making it very convenient. Tang Ran Ran inherited a total of four space buckles, three one cubic ordinary storage space buckles, and a dedicated space buckle that matched the suspended flying car. Feeling the expensive dedicated space buckle that housed the floating car, Tang Ran Ran felt a little relieved. This floating car was a birthday gift from Tang Qingji when she was 21 years old last year. The total value of the car, along with the space buckle, was nearly 80 million yuan. This floating car is not very expensive, what's more expensive is the accompanying space buckle. Oh, the most important thing is that this car belongs to her and there is no mortgage loan. So even if she really goes bankrupt, a skinny camel is bigger than a horse, and she can still have a few hundred million yuan worth of assets left. Because there is no listing or market value, only the valuation of the group's assets, and the report provided by Yen Xing clearly states that Tang Qingji's 52% stake, with 3% to 5% as a share, has obtained loans from different banks, totaling 321.8 billion yuan. 
So, it can be concluded that the entire Xinliang group may have an asset value of 1 trillion, after all, it would be good if something worth 10 billion could be borrowed for 6 billion. Ah, the leader of the trillion dollar group. With a net worth of several hundred million, it was quite impressive, but Tang Ran Ran couldn't help feeling depressed when she thought that she could have a net worth of trillions. Is she too greedy? Unable to resist sighing for more than 10 seconds, Tang Ran Ran unscrewed the lid of the nutrient solution and took it to her mouth to drink. This nutrient solution is called Xinliang Qinggan, and the main business of Xinliang Group is this nutrient solution. The plant-based nutrient solution with a slight mint fragrance has made this new Yang clear sensation stand out among the slightly fishy nutrient solution markets at the same price point, seizing a market share. Drinking nutrient solution, Tang Ran Ran couldn't help but review the information of Xinliang Group. Xinliang Group is an industry created by Tang Chengji. Although it is not a listed company, it is not unique to him alone, but rather has numerous shareholders. There are numerous shareholders, including those who hold investment shares, those who hold technology shares, those who have been mixed with Tang Qingji to obtain shares, and the Tang family who later acquired family ties. Among them, Tang Qingji holds 52% of the shares and has absolute discourse power. The second shareholder is a guy named Qin Dafu, who holds 25% of the shares. There is not much information about him in my memory, but it can be known that Chen Dafu is a partner of Tang Qingji, an investor who contributes money and doesn't seem to participate in the group's decisions on a daily basis. Tang Qingji and Chen Dafu account for 77%, with the remaining being minority shareholders. Shen Wei holds 5% of the shares and is a capable general who has been working with Tang Qingji for decades, with outstanding abilities. Yu Liang holds 3% of the shares and is also a capable general and technical talent who has been working with Tang Qingji for decades. The four of them hold 85% of the shares, and the next step is the Tang family. Compared to the proportion of shares in the group, Tang Ran Ran had to recall Tang Qingji's family background. The average lifespan of StarCraft people is about 200 years old, so although Tang Qingji, the unlucky father, died unexpectedly nearly 100 years old, his parents and brothers and sisters are all alive. Tang Qingji's father's name is Tang Ming, and his mother's name is Shen Fenghua, her grandparents. Both of them are over 150 years old. Although they have entered the aging period, they are still lively and lively. From their appearance, they are equivalent to modern people around 50 years old. Due to their long lifespan and belonging to a wealthy family with some money, Tang Ming and his wife had five children, with Tang Qingji ranking third. Tang Qingji has an elder brother Tang Qingwu and a second sister Tang Fei above him, and a fourth brother Tang Qingwen and a younger sister Tang Chui below him. Perhaps it was due to valuing family ties, or perhaps it was because Tang Qingji's initial million yuan was a primitive investment raised by his family, so the Tang family each held a share. Tang Qingji's parents, Tang Ming and Shen Fenghua, each accounted for 2%, while the four brothers and sisters, Tang Qingwu, Tang Fei and Tang Qingwen, each accounted for 1%. Tang Chui, the youngest, was also 1%, but later Tang Qingji gave her 1%, so Tang Chui had 2% shares. Searching for memories, Tang Ran Ran found the truth behind this 1% stake. When she was very young, it seemed that Tang Chui got divorced due to the man's infidelity. She then took her son and daughter back to her mother's house and changed their surnames back to Tang. Tang Qingji has the best relationship with this little girl Tang Chui. Not only did he arrange for Tang Chui to join Xinliang, but he also ran around to support her and settle accounts with scumbags. He even gave her 1% of the shares. For this matter, Tang Qingwu, Tang Qingwen and Tang Fei have also made trouble with him, saying that everything is a brother and sisters, and we should not favor one over the other. Later, Tang Chui recruited a major client for Xinliang, causing sales to double. Tang Qingji spoke up and said that if anyone also doubled the group's revenue, he would give shares, and the three of them gradually quieted down. Tang Chui currently works in Xinliang and has outstanding abilities. 
Originally a sales director with numerous clients, she is currently one of the top managers in Xinliang. Tang Qingji's parents, brothers and sisters accounted for 9% of the shares. There are only a few people with over 1% of the shares, totaling 94%. The remaining 6% is divided into more than a dozen small shareholders, as they hold less than 1% of the shares, so they have little say. Of course, when Tang Qingji was still alive, the Xinliang group was his one man. Now that Tang Qingji is gone and Tang Ranran has been replaced, it is obvious that it will not work anymore. The servants are starting to worship Yang and violate Yang. No, the funds are stuck. If it were Tang Qingji and he asked for money, who would dare not give it? Su Jun dare not even fart. Well, all the funds have been used by Tang Qingji for this planet renovation project. In Xinliang's accounts, there is currently less than 1 billion yuan of working capital left. This money cannot be used to maintain the operation of Xinliang. I really don't have any money. Ah. Sadness flows upstream into a river. End of this chapter. Chapter 6. Is One Step Closer to Bankruptcy. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6 is One Step Closer to Bankruptcy just as Tang Ranran was full of food and drink and continuing to lament, his intelligent mind rang again, it was Yen Xing's communication. Although she didn't want to take it, Tang Ranran had to face reality. If it came, then I have to take responsibility for this mess. As soon as the communication was connected, before Tang Ran Ran could ask, Yen Xing quickly reported, Mr. Tang, I have talked to several employee representatives again, and their demands are very clear. In addition to the compensation for injury and death insurance, our company also needs to pay a separate compensation of 3 million star coins per person to their relatives for the three deceased employees. The other 12 injured employees must be treated as much as possible, and corresponding compensation will be given based on the final situation. Among the 12, 9 of them have external injuries and are currently undergoing treatment, so there should be no major problems. However, there are 3 remaining, those 3, and they. Quickly speaking a lot, Yen Xing stopped and hesitated in a difficult tone. What's wrong with those 3? Tang Ran Ran asked, feeling a bad premonition in her heart. These three people are probably tricky. The situation of those three people is very serious. One is a mental riot, and the other two are radiation. The radiation levels on the human body surface are too high. If not treated in time, radiation will definitely cause radiation sequelae after being fully immersed in the body. After listening to Yen Xing's words, Tang Ranran's bad premonition was fulfilled, only feeling that his mind was buzzing even more. As a technologically advanced interstellar world, medical care is naturally highly advanced, but even with advanced medical care, there are also severe and incurable diseases. The three major serious illnesses of interstellar humans. Mental disorders, genetic defects, and radiation sequelae. Spiritual riot, long-term use of mental power can lead to a state of mental disorder, and after mental disorder, it is necessary to rest and treat in a timely manner, otherwise it will enter a more serious mental riot. Once mental power enters a state of riot and cannot be effectively treated, it will be headache-ridden and lead to death in immense pain. Genetic deficiency is a genetic disease that has emerged in the process of human evolution, with almost no treatment. People with genetic deficiency either die early or spend a lot of money on expensive drugs to survive. Radiation sequelae refer to the various pathological changes that occur in humans after exposure to various types of radiation and exposure to it. Once these three major serious illnesses occur, ordinary medical methods are no longer effective and special treatment methods must be used, such as therapists or special treatment items produced by therapists. As mentioned earlier, Interstellar beings have spiritual power, and after reaching the S. level of spiritual power, there is a possibility of developing special abilities. In Tang Ranran's view, this special ability is a special ability, such as thunder, fire, water, wood, and so on. 
And a therapist is a superpower with healing attributes. According to data on the Starnet, the vast empire has less than 10 million people with S.level spiritual power, and among them, only 1% are psychics, with only a few hundred thousand people. Among the supernatural beings, about one-tenth can be related to healing. So, with a population of hundreds of billions, there are less than 10,000 therapists. It can be imagined how expensive things are associated with therapists. Summary These three people can still be saved, but the cost of treatment is higher than the compensation of 3 million yuan for death. But if the compensation for death was directly applied, Tang Ranran felt that his unscrupulous boss would be attacked by the employees. Yen Xing, they are forcing others to overcome difficulties. These three people are equivalent to incurable diseases. Mr. Tang, I think the same way, but the employee representatives clearly want us to have an attitude. Only when we do our best to ensure the employees' lives can they be willing to continue planting. If we don't show an attitude, they won't do it and will apply for labor arbitration. Yen Xing's tone was very uneasy, and he cautiously added, Mr. Tang, I have already asked a friend from the Labor Bureau, and he said that based on our situation, the possibility of determining us as the defaulting party is greater. The total compensation amount may be around 2.8 billion yuan, including liquidated damages, injury and death penalties, labor compensation, and round-trip transportation costs. If the Labor Bureau intervenes in the end, Manager Su will definitely not agree to this compensation. Even if he agrees, there is not so much working capital in the group. If we don't find a way to appease the employees, this project may be put on hold Tang Ranran. Let her die. That's great, she took another big step towards bankruptcy. Tang Ranran had a headache and said, So, what do you mean is, if these three employees die, we're done. But where do you want me to find a therapist? 2.8 billion is not enough to hire a therapist. I know, don't worry for now, Yen Xin continued. As a capable secretary, he had already reached the bottom line of the employee representatives and came up with a solution, which is whether the boss is willing to implement his plan or not. It's like this, as long as we do our best to rescue them, even if the three people are still not rescued in the end, after receiving death compensation, the employee representatives are willing to persuade the employees to continue working. Do your best. Yes, as long as we provide pure food for those three employees, temporarily suspend the deterioration of their condition, and then go to the military hospital several more times during this period to fight for treatment spots for them, even if the military hospital does not admit them in the end, we will do our best. Okay, I understand. To put it simply, it was to do everything in one's power and obey fate. Tang Ranran felt that she had seen so little hope of not going bankrupt. Also, Mr. Tang. Yen Xing hesitated and hesitated, after all, what he wanted to say next was a small report. What's up, just say it directly. After hesitating for two seconds, Yen Xing finally decided to speak up. He had long felt that Pan Rongrong was not well-intentioned, but unfortunately, Mr. Tang trusted her. However, now Mr. Tang's attitude tends to appease the employees, so Yen Xing has to say it. Mr. Tang, it's almost nine o'clock and Pan Tezu is about to get up. Yesterday, she had some conflicts with the employee representatives. If she had another conflict with the employee representatives today, there might be no room for negotiation. Tang Ranran's heart was tired, oh, there were several guys with ulterior motives around her. I understand. Please inform her to have a meeting in conference room 1 at 9.30. Also, inform Su Jun, Kang Sheng, and Wu Dahong. Tang Ranran named several responsible persons. Okay, I understand. Do you have any other instructions, Mr. Tang? Is Lieutenant Jiang Zhou inside the base? Tang Ranran asked. Because there are still a small number of Zerg remaining on the planet, and insects are attracted by plants, the military has arranged an armored squad of 100 people to kill the attracted insects and protect them here. 
All the sand dune soil insects from yesterday have been killed, but Lieutenant Jiang is worried, so he led some soldiers to survey and patrol several planting areas. He has not returned yet. Got it, that's it. Don't forget to notify them of the meeting. Good Mr. Tang. After finishing the communication, Tang Ranran stood up from the sofa and walked to the wardrobe. She rummaged through the pile of exaggerated dresses in the wardrobe, and finally found a simple style long sleeve dress. In the changing room, Tang Ranran did not forget to use her spiritual power to manipulate her brain and search for information related to pure food. Don't look or don't know, it's a shock at first glance. Be good, all start in four digits. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Crossover Standard Gold Fingers, Still Here You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Crossover Standard Gold Fingers, Still Here As a Newcomer, Tang Ranran knew that the staple food of interstellar humans was nutrient solution, and one nutrient solution could manage a meal. The nutritional liquids here are diverse and diverse. The poor drink cheap basic nutritional liquids that only have a filling function, while the rich drink all dot around nutritional liquids that contain various vitamins and minerals. Starting at a minimum of two coins, there is no upper limit, and the nutrient solution meets the food needs of everyone in the interstellar space. In addition to nutrient solution, there is also food here. In my memory, my original body would eat a meal every once in a while. Tang Ranran thought the food was just slightly expensive, but he didn't expect it to be so expensive. Oh, wrong, it's not that food is expensive, it's pure food that is expensive. What's expensive is the word pure. After a thorough examination in his mind, Tang Ranran added a pile of interstellar knowledge. Food can be divided into two categories based on radiation and purification values. Low radiation regular food and pure food. Ordinary food refers to edible items that have been tested for radiation levels below 5. Research has shown that food with radiation levels below 5 can be consumed by humans. Of course, long dot term consumption of food containing radiation carries a risk of cancer. However, when survival is difficult, people will not consider the risk of cancer. The lowest priced 2 dot star nutrient solution has a radiation value of 4.99, which is the staple food of impoverished planets. Pure food refers to edible food that has been tested to be free of radiation, has a radiation value of 0, and a purification value greater than 0. It is said online that pure food not only strengthens the body, but also has a certain therapeutic effect on the three major severe cases of interstellar diseases. The higher the purification value, the better the therapeutic effect, and even has the effect of prolonging life. So the price of pure food is relatively high, and those pure foods with high purification values produced by therapists are often exorbitant, and they are still valuable without a market. After checking the food section of the Interstellar Shopping website, Tang Ranran finally understood the prices. As a staple food for interstellar humans, the price of nutrient solution varies greatly depending on the radiation and purification values. Apart from nutrient solutions, the second largest food market is occupied by various meat products, most of which are ordinary foods with a slight radiation value, making them much more expensive than nutrient solutions with the same radiation value. Finally, there are fruits and vegetables. Most edible fruits and vegetables are pure foods, and their prices are generally high. After comparing the data, Tang Ranran found the cheapest pure food on the shopping website, a nutrient solution with a purification value of 0.01, and a price of 600 star coins. Buying one is not expensive, but drinking it suddenly is a luxury for an ordinary family, and it's only 0.01, which is better than nothing. Tang Ranran, who understood the details, used her mental energy to check her three storage compartments. There were a total of five unopened boxes in the compartments, twelve pieces per box, and eight loose pieces, totaling sixty-eight pieces. The main product of Xinliang Group is Xinliang Qinggan, which is a pure nutrient solution with a purification value of 0.05. 
The external sales price is 688 star coins. Although it is only slightly related to purification value, it is still considered pure food. 68 pieces, given to three critically ill patients, it can last at least a week. Tang Ran Ran felt a bit confident in her heart, but relying solely on these nutrient solutions was clearly not enough. It seemed that if she wanted to continue being a domineering CEO, she still needed to rely on her golden finger. Walking to the sofa, sitting down, leaning back to find a more comfortable position, Tang Ran Ran continued to surf the internet. After browsing the fruit and vegetable area for a while, just a few minutes after 9 o'clock, Jinao issued a timed prompt. Oh, it's harvest time. Turning off the browsing screen, Tang Ran Ran leaned against the sofa and closed her eyes to take a nap, but in reality, she entered her own farm with consciousness. Tang Ran Ran, who does not have a non-chieftain face attribute or a black face, likes to take advantage of his golden finger. A certain farm. When joining the crossing army. Fortunately, the golden finger is still there. Although this farm has not played a significant role in the cultivation world, it belongs to a relatively insignificant existence. But now she has changed the world, and after learning about the food market in the interstellar world, Tang Ran Ran's inexplicable confidence has exploded. She has finally unlocked the protagonist mode of getting rich and reaching the pinnacle of life by relying on her golden finger. As the screen turned, consciousness entered the small thatched cottage, and Tang Ran 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 straight to the computer in the center of the cottage. There is a table in the center of the thatched cottage, with four legs and a tabletop, just like a simple folding table sold by a certain treasure. It looks cheap, with a desktop computer display screen and a mouse on the tabletop. Without even a chair, Tang Ran Ran stood in front of the computer, hunched over and staring at the screen. He grabbed the mouse and began to operate. On the display screen of the desktop computer, there is a farm-type game, and in the lower right corner of the screen is a thatched cottage corresponding to her small thatched cottage. Outside the house is a large green uncultivated land, with six pieces of cultivated land in the upper left corner. It is obvious that due to being struck by lightning, the farm, which was already several hundred levels old, has been formatted from the factory and is now at level zero. At the beginning, there are six plots of land with grass planted on them, which are displayed as harvesting status. At the first moment of yesterday's journey, Tang Ran Ran confirmed the existence of the farm and planted grass as soon as possible. The grass at level zero matures in eight hours, and once you wake up from sleep, it's time for this bountiful harvest. Tang Ran Ran used the mouse to perform the harvest operation. With the harvest of six plots of land, a series of prompts popped up. Experience plus 10 experience plus 1060 experience income. Complete the harvest, there is an exclamation mark indicating that the task has been completed in the taskbar. Tang Ran Ran clicked with the mouse. Congratulations, you have successfully harvested grass. Rewards. 100 coins, 50 experience points, 1 bag of regular fertilizer, 1 bag of advanced fertilizer, and 1 bag of super fertilizer. As soon as you receive the reward, you gain 110 experience, and the farm level immediately rises by one level, followed by an exclamation mark. Congratulations, successfully promoted to level 1. Rewards 100 coins, 1 bag of regular fertilizer, 1 bag of advanced fertilizer, and 1 bag of super fertilizer. In his previous life, Tang Ran Ran had already figured out the rules of the farm, and for every level he raised, he could cultivate a piece of land. In her previous life, she was a big landlord who owned hundreds or thousands of pieces of land. Forget it, the hero doesn't mention his bravery back then. Returning to her eyes, Tang Ran Ran glanced at her wallet, gold coin. 1200, of which 1000 gold coins were obtained by her check that I in yesterday. The first six grass seeds were given by the system and did not cost any money. The first piece of land is worth 10,000 gold coins, and the wallet is too dry for her to afford, so hurry up and make money. Before planting vegetables, 
Tang Ranran first examined the new task of removing withered plants left behind after harvesting on the land. Task Plant and Harvest Chinese Cabbage Opening the seed mall, Tang Ranran first spent 168 gold coins to buy a portion of Chinese cabbage seeds. Plant the Chinese cabbage seeds in the first piece of land, and Tang Ranran checked the seed mall again. At present, she is at level 1, and the crops she can grow include level 0, grass, white radish, and, carrots, followed by level 1, cabbage, and, garlic. Now she is in poverty, she needs to consider both economic benefits and experiential benefits, in order to make the most efficient money and gain experience. Okay, there's not much to calculate. Except for grass, the hourly economic benefits of the other four crops are similar. The empirical benefit is the highest for white radish, with a rate of 2.0 per hour. Of course, the difference is not very big, and the most important thing is to cooperate with time and harvest as soon as it matures. The ripening time for white radishes is 10 hours, and they can definitely be harvested before bedtime. As soon as Tang Ranran bought five pieces of white radish seeds priced at 125 gold coins, he immediately planted one in the remaining five fields. After planting, Tang Ranran checked the barn. Empty, with only a little bit of grass. With just a little finger control over the mouse, Tang Ranran sold all the grass. Gold coins plus 900 at present, the wallet is still dry, gold coin. 1307, the basic planting operation was completed, and before exiting, Tang Ranran clicked on the daily check.in. This check.in is like opening a blind box. Although there are not many substantial good things, there are occasionally hundreds of thousands of gold coins popping up. Tang Ranran prayed for a European emperor possession to blow her 100,000 to solve the urgent situation. And then, successful check.in. Congratulations on obtaining Green Spirit Grass Seed Tang Ran Ran Qingling Grass Seed End of this chapter Chapter 8 She has a spiritual plant on one acre of land. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 She has a spiritual plant on one acre of land, successful check that I in. Congratulations on obtaining Green Spirit Grass Seed Kingling K.O. Seed Tang Ranran stared at the system prompt incredulously, this. How could it be? Surprisingly, there are green spirit grass seeds on her farm. You know, Qingling grass is a spiritual plant. It is the spiritual plant that only exists in her second cultivation world. This farm system, which is clearly produced in the first modern world, actually has green spirit grass seeds. This is not scientific. Scientifically unscientific is not the key, the key is that if this is true, it means she has a chance to cultivate immortality again. Filled with ecstasy and excitement, Tang Ranran received the check that I N reward with a trembling click, and then quickly opened the seed warehouse on her computer, taking a look. That image, although the art style has become cute, is indeed the Kingling Kao she knows. Is it? An incredible idea emerged. Tang Ranran's Golden Finger Farm has two ways of entry. One is simply to enter through consciousness, leaving her body in a dazed state outside. When consciousness entered, she could only control the computer in the room in a state of soul to carry out farm-related management work. Another way is for the body to enter, and after entering the farm, not only can it be operated using a computer, but it can also be operated personally. Stepping out of this house, that's the field. A piece of land in the computer is just one acre outside. Tang Ran Ran can plant on the field by herself, starting from sowing or picking up ready.made ones after the system has matured. In short, Tang Ran Ran can intervene in the cultivation of the field at any time, which means that if she steps on that field with one foot, it is artificial intervention. Once her body enters the farm and artificially intervenes in a certain field, the field will appear as withered plants after harvest on the computer farm screen. At this point, this field is in a realistic state, 
and it will reach a state that is consistent with the external time flow rate. The production speed of plants will show a trend towards realism. That is to say, Tang Ran Ran can use a computer to systematically plant vegetables, or treat the fields as real land. Of course, if Tang Ran Ran finishes planting and doesn't want to plant anymore, he just needs to perform a shovel operation on this field on the computer, and the field will return to the planting state of the computer farm system. So, it's better to take action than to be tempted. Tang Ran Ran immediately took action. Open the props column and you will see regular fertilizer, asterisk 2, advanced fertilizer, asterisk 2, and super fertilizer, asterisk 2, with three varieties of fertilizers lying quietly there. Facing the second piece of land where white radishes were planted, Tang Ran Ran clicked on it with a mouse, added a bag of advanced fertilizer and two bags of regular fertilizer, and sprinkled the ripening time of white radish is 10 hours. Using a bag of advanced fertilizer can shorten the time by 8 hours, while using a bag of regular fertilizer can shorten the time by 1 hour. The use of fertilizer as a prop immediately ripens the white radishes in this piece of land, entering a ripe and harvestable state. Tang Ran Ran quickly reaped the harvest, then went on to shovel the ground, and there was an open space. Without any delay, Tang Ran Ran planted the green spirit grass seed. In her previous life, when she was in the world of cultivation, Tang Ran Ran used the farm as a personal planting space. Although there was no initial spiritual energy in her farm space, the spiritual plants in the cultivation world could be planted here. Just as a spiritual plant, from planting to maturity, it can take several decades or even hundreds of years, and even more so, it is considered a thousand years for top dot quality immortal plants. The spiritual plants planted by Tang Ran Ran himself were harvested only after the end of time. When her cultivation was low, Tang Ran Ran would still plant crops on the farm, but after her cultivation improved and she had a cultivation cave in the cultivation world, she rarely planted crops on the farm anymore. Qingling grass is the most common spiritual plant in the cultivation world. Only Qingling grass, which has grown for 10 years, can be considered as stepping into the threshold of spiritual plants and can be used to refine small spiritual pills to supplement spiritual power. Now that Qingling Kao has been systematized by the farm, I don't know how many hours it will take to mature, but I don't think it will take 10 years, right? Feeling a little uneasy in her heart, Tang Ran Ran moved her mouse and clicked on the field where the green spirit grass was planted. Then she saw that the crop still had 364 hours, 59 minutes, and 12 seconds to enter the harvest period. That's 365 hours. Oh my god, after systematization, it's like cheating. Although Tang Ran Ran is now an ordinary person who cannot refine pills, he can directly absorb the spiritual power of the green spirit grass for cultivation. Although the effect of cultivation is not as good as that of elixirs, having it is always better than not having it. Thinking happily, Tang Ran Ran clicked on the seed mall and began to search page by page. At the end, Tang Ran Ran's eyes suddenly lit up and her heart was completely engulfed in ecstasy. After seeing ordinary seeds, there were a lot of special seeds added. Qingling grass, blood essence grass, three star grass, seven star grass, Yuan she grass this, this, this. In her previous life, accompanied by an increase in cultivation, the golden finger of the farm was of little use to Tang Ran Ran, so she didn't enter the farm much. The spiritual plants she had planted were allowed to grow freely. And these seeds are all spiritual plants she planted on the farm. So, during the thunderstorm, Although the farm's golden fingers were restored, the spiritual plants she planted were absorbed and merged by the golden fingers. After an instant surprise, the gray color directly poured cold water on Tang Ran Ran's head. Gray represents non-purchasable, so click on the green spirit grass seed at the front of the mouse, take a closer look, and see special crop unlocked after level 60. Tang Ran Ran Level 60 She's only at level 1. Uh, it's just level 60, it's going to be fast. Yes, yes, very soon. 
After telling herself this, Tang Ranran sharpened her fists and started flashing bugs. Tang Ranran held the mouse and directly sprinkled a bag of super fertilizer on the ground of Kingling Kale. One pack of super fertilizer will directly ripen the crops. Whether it's 8 hours of grass or 365 hours of green spirit grass, sprinkle such a bag and it's all ripe. In an instant, the Qingling grass was ripened, and Tang Ranran couldn't contain her excitement. She ran out of the thatched cottage and ran to the outside. With only six plots of land, Tang Ranran could see the lush green spiritual grassland at a glance. As the most basic spiritual plant in the world of cultivating immortals, the growth requirements of Qingling grass are not high. There are about 10 Qingling grass sown by the system in one square meter, and nearly 6,600 Qingling grass in one acre of field. So much green spirit grass is enough for her to cultivate until the foundation building period. Well, you can't say too much, after all, she doesn't know her qualifications yet. If she doesn't have spiritual roots, then he he. Stopping on the field ridge for several minutes, Tang Ranran estimated that time was running out before leaving the farm. According to the intelligent brain, the time is 9.13 a.m. I had previously informed her that there would be a meeting at 9.30, so we cannot delay any further. As for the issue of cultivation, we can only wait for her to understand the details of the mess before trying again. End of this chapter Chapter 9 Her Suspected Spy's Best Friend You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Her Suspected Spy's Best Friend Standing Up From The Sofa, Tang Ranran Adjusted Her Long Skirt, Smoothed Out The Wrinkles, And After Confirming That Her Appearance Was Fine, She Walked Towards One Side Of The Wall. The walls on all four sides of this room are full of metal texture and natural, with no visible cracks. The feeling of closure is slightly suffocating. After taking a few steps and standing by the wall in the corner, Tang Ranran, who was familiar with the way, used his spiritual power to connect and activate the switch hidden inside the wall. Like an automatic sliding door in a shopping mall, a small door opened by the wall for passage. Stepping out, one can see a closed corridor full of metallic texture, with a clear view of the door and window. On the corridor, in addition to Tang Ran Ran, there were two other people, a man and a woman, both wearing tight dark combat uniforms and standing upright at the door of Tang Ran Ran's room. Taking a glance, Tang Ran Ran withdrew her gaze. This is a team of bodyguards hired at a high price by the original body, seemingly a C.level mercenary team. Tang Ran Ran currently does not know how powerful this level is, but she only knows that the bodyguard team consists of six people, two in a group, divided into three groups on rotation, protecting her safety 24 hours a day. The original body has cooled down, proving that these bodyguards are actually useless. Oh, wrong, useful. If there were no bodyguards, she might have been swallowed by the sand dune beetle in one bite. If there were no corpses, there would be nothing wrong with her. Thanks in her heart, Tang Ran Ran still decided to terminate the contract with them, after all, she is now so poor that she has a negative number. After two seconds of mental turmoil, Tang Ran Ran quietly opened her mind with spiritual power. With a command to go to conference room 1, the navigation immediately opened. On the smart brain screen that only she could see, a small map was displayed, with not only directional arrows but also warm text prompts. Please walk forward for 15 meters. Accompanied by Tang Ran Ran steps, the two bodyguards guarding the door also took action, following her step by step at a distance of half a meter. Open the access door to the north. Tang Ran Ran walked through a door, which was a closed corridor with a metallic texture. Please move forward 8 meters to the west. As a planet plagued by the Zerg, YS.212 does not have any buildings, let alone its high radiation value, and most buildings are also uninhabitable. The temporary residence where Tang Ran Ran and his group lived was a small military floating base leased from the military. The entire military floating base has five floors, each with nearly 20,000 square meters of space. 
the whole thing was like a metal maze. If it weren't for navigation, even if there were memories of the original body, Tang Ran Ran would have gotten lost. Seven minutes later, Tang Ran Ran finally arrived at the entrance of Conference Room 1, after crossing through metal corridors with twists and turns. Once again, Tang Ran Ran opened the door with spiritual strength, carrying the arrogant and coquettish expression of her former headstrong CEO, and carrying the left and right protectors behind her, she walked in aggressively. As the group of three entered the door and noticed the commotion, the people in the conference room cast their eyes and immediately spoke one by one, Mr. Tang, good. Mr. Tang. Good morning, Mr. Tang. One by one, although shouting, Mr. Tang, on their mouths, they either laughed too falsely, had perfunctory expressions, and even had a hint of schadenfreude when watching good shows Tang Ran Ran's heart was once again congested. The team was not easy to lead, and there were probably not many people under her who truly admired her. However, upon reflection, she is now a wealthy second dot generation who takes orders in times of crisis and lacks any business experience. Without any real skills, it is impossible to convince the subordinates. Tang Ran Ran observed the expressions of everyone while matching the characters with the memories in her mind. Ran Ran, come on. Just as Tang Ran Ran was still recognizing people, a woman walked towards her with a passionate smile. Fashionable brownish red curly hair with big waves, a face full of exquisite makeup, shiny round earrings with diamonds, a tight fitting shirt and hip wrap skirt that closely fits the body lines, and big red high heels that are over 7 centimeters tall under the feet. This woman, dressed as a workplace queen, is her special assistant Pan Rong Rong equivalent to the position of vice president. Tang Ran Ran looked at her and quickly completed the relevant information in his mind. Pan Rong Rong, her former classmate, successfully became her best friend with a persuasive mouth. When the original parents died, all kinds of comfort, care and encouragement were given to the original body. With the help of good friends who said, I support you, sisters will advance and retreat together, Pan Rong Rong parachuted to the secretary office as a related account, becoming the special help of the original body. In summary, this guy is not very skilled and is better at flattering. In ancient times, he was a traitor and sycophant. Moreover, this guy may have been bought by hidden enemies. Tang Qingji died, and I don't know how many people secretly planned to take a piece of this cake from Xinliang. Tang Ran Ran analyzed in her heart and concluded that this Pan Rong Rong is highly likely to be a commercial spy. I had no idea that Tang Ran Ran had changed her heart. After walking up to her, Pan Rong Rong affectionately took her arm and said, Ran Ran, are you okay? I was worried to death yesterday. I was so anxious that I didn't sleep well all night. Look, I have dark circles under my eyes. Pan Rong Rong pointed to her eyes, which were painted with dark purple eye shadow and made up very big. She sincerely expressed a wave of concern and sold a wave of good sister's designs. Well, it's okay, Tang Ran Ran responded calmly. I can rest assured if you're okay, but Ran Ran, you should rest more now. Your health is the most important. Pan Rong Rong continued with a sincere expression of concern, writing lightly in her tone. There's no need for a meeting for such a small matter. Those poor thirteen are just trying to extort money. In my opinion, let them all go. There are many poor stars in the rear, we have money, but we still worry about not hiring people. Pentezu, you can't say that. Yen Xing, who was originally standing at the conference table, interjected and retorted, Without high salaries and safety guarantees, even the poor on the nearby poor planet are unwilling to work on a planet where safety cannot be guaranteed. How could it be? They are so poor, just give them some money and they will come here without a trace. Pan Rong Rong's eyebrows were filled with contempt and disdain for the poor. Has Pantezu ever conducted an on dot site investigation? Does this still require investigation? Just think about it they are so poor that they can't even afford the cheapest nutrient solution. They have the opportunity to work and earn money, but they still don't work hard to seize it. 
Pan Rong Rong lowered her face displeased as she spoke against Yen Xing one after another. Yen Xing opened his mouth and was about to continue. All right, stop making noise, let's start the meeting. Tang Ran Ran waved her hand to interrupt their argument, then waved away Pan Rong Rong's arm and walked slowly towards the main seat of the oval conference table in the center of the room. Mr. Tang has already begun to suspect Pan Rong Rong, this two-faced and three-faced poisonous widow. Yen Xing's eyes lit up and he understood the signal, feeling very happy. He quickly walked over with a leap of his thigh and arrived at the main seat first. He opened the seat for Tang Ran Ran and said, Mr. Tang, you have just been discharged from the hospital, hurry up and sit down. Pan Rong Rong, who regarded herself as Tang Ran Ran's best sisters, was suddenly waved away, which made her feel a little stunned. Yen Xing was robbed of the opportunity to be courteous. After regaining her senses, Pan Rong Rong gave Yen Xing a fierce glare and then lowered her gaze, concealing the mockery in her eyes. Ha, idiot, even if you please Tang Ran Ran and become the head of the secretary's office, you won't be proud for long. With a sneer in her heart, Pan Rong Rong walked over and sat in the lower position on the right hand of Tang Ran Ran. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Subordinates with Different Minds You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Subordinates with Different Minds After Tang Ran Ran took his seat, the people who were originally sitting or standing sat down one after another. Quickly, except for two bodyguards standing behind Tang Ran Ran with their backs, everyone at the scene had already taken their seats. Tang Ran Ran's gaze swept and in a few seconds, he recognized all the people in front of the conference table, while also analyzing a wave in his heart. Her three secretaries, Yen Xing, Pan Rongrong, and Kong Sheng. At present, it is highly likely that Pan Rongrong has been bribed by competitors in the mall, or she may simply be an empty-headed flatterer who likes to take advantage of the situation. Yen Xing has been following Tang Qingji for over a decade, probably towards her as the young master, but he cannot fully trust her. As for Kong Sheng, who has a happy face and always smiles like Mithraya, although he is an old man in the secretary office, he does not seem to be Tang Qingji's confidant. If he is not a veteran of fishing, he is also the eyeliner of Chindafu, the two shareholders. Then, Su Jun, the project manager, has a shrewd face. He is responsible for supervising the project progress, approving the project construction funds, and also holds the post of accountant. As far as Tang Ran Ran knows, Su Jun is more likely to be Chin Dafu's eyeliner. Tang Ran Ran had little contact with the remaining people, and in her original memory, there was a degree to which a name could be called, so she was unable to make a judgment for a moment. The overall project leader, Wu Dahong, is tall and robust, looking like he only has strength but no brain. Currently, he is responsible for arranging the planting and construction work of the employees. The Minister of Security, Zhou Jian, is also tall and strong, looking very powerful. The military team is only responsible for clearing the remaining Zerg tribes that appear in the surrounding area. The security team led by Zhou Jian is affiliated with the company and is responsible for safeguarding the safety of employees. Security personnel generally have a mercenary certificate, which is equivalent to a gun-holding certificate and belongs to combat personnel with guns. As for the combat effectiveness, Tang Ran Ran was not clear about it. But just looking at yesterday's sand dune insect infestation incident, we know that the security team's strength is not very strong. The Minister of Logistics, Huang Lu, is responsible for handling various miscellaneous matters. Huang Lu is a round-faced girl who seems to be an introverted social anxiety. She sits in her seat with her head hanging down, looking somewhat reserved. The leader of the research group, Guo Zhen, looks like an old scholar, mainly responsible for studying the local plants on the planet, finding economically valuable crops from them, and also observing and recording the planting situation. Minister of Supervision and Monitoring, UE, is mainly responsible for testing environmental radiation values, item radiation values, etc. Equipment Supervisor Project Construction, a middle-aged man who is white and chubby, 
responsible for equipment maintenance and repair. Gu Pingyin, a tall, thin and handsome young man in the medical room, dressed in a professional white coat and wearing black framed glasses, looks a bit cold. He is responsible for regular physical examinations of employees and the treatment of common minor illnesses. After matching the numbers one by one and counting the points in her heart, Tang Ran Ran, the largest boss on the main seat, was the first to speak up. First of all, she became angry, demonstrating her stubborn and domineering personality. What's going on with you? The employees are all on strike. Don't you know how to find a solution? Faced with Tang Ran Ran's anger, Wu Dahong, as the overall project leader, spoke with a helpless expression in the face of gunfire. Tang, I'm sorry, I've tried my best to appease the employees and persuade them to continue working, but... The employee strike is considered a dereliction of his management, but he can't do anything about it. The emergence of sand dune soil insects in the planting area and the consumption of three people are absolutely terrifying. Not to mention the employees, even he was scared. Wu Dahong didn't want to take the risk of being eaten and go out to plant trees. So, he particularly understood the strike sentiment of the employees, and even raised his hand in agreement. Of course, facing the boss who pays him, as a worker, Wu Dahong dare not express his true thoughts, otherwise he will definitely lose his job. Now their emotions are very excited, and this problem is difficult to solve. The sand dune beetle is really terrifying. There were many employees present at the time, and even someone recorded a video. This spread ten times, ten times, and hundreds of times. The employees were panicked, and no one dared to go out. Wu Dahong continued to speak hesitantly, his eyes constantly scanning Zhou's fitness, silently expressing, the responsibility is not on me, this is a safety issue. Wu Dahong's behavior of shaking the pot is very obvious. Mr. Tang, you can't blame me for this. Zhou Jian, as the safety manager, gave Wu Dahong a cold look and immediately explained to himself, our security department patrols every day. Even if there are no planting arrangements for work hours, we arrange patrols every day. The patrol time is more than 10 hours. Every planting area is inspected four or five times a day, and the monitoring room is also monitored 24 hours a day. Zhou Jianbarabra talked a lot, first expressing that he was not lazy or neglecting his duties, and then expressing his helplessness and distress. But the planting area is so large that our security department has less than a hundred people, and the number of monitoring equipment cannot achieve comprehensive coverage. We cannot even achieve comprehensive coverage. Moreover, sand dune soil insects are good at digging holes underground, they hide underground, and ordinary monitoring is difficult to detect in a timely manner. It is really impossible to prevent them. Finally, Zhou Jian also threw the blame onto the military, saying, our security personnel have also encountered the Zerg for the first time. They lack practical experience and have not found any traces of sand dune soil insects infiltrating, which is understandable. However, their military personnel, who have been fighting against the Zerg for so many years, can be said to have rich experience. Moreover, Lieutenant Jiang is a single mech soldier, and his combat effectiveness is not comparable to that of ordinary people. They have not found any clues. For this kicking behavior, Tang Ran Ran rolled her eyes silently in her heart. Can she still run to the military to hold them accountable? Tang Ran Ran impatiently patted the meeting table and interrupted, let's talk about what to do now. It's not that you're playing football to shirk responsibility. Let's all think carefully about it. What should we do now? How can we solve the employee strike problem? Although Tang Ran Ran also knew that the sand dune soil insect attack incident was not related to human responsibility, but rather an inevitable natural disaster. But change is not overnight. Tang Ran Ran, who was new to the company, is committed to maintaining her character and getting angry at her subordinates. Angry on her face, Tang Ran Ran's mood was particularly heavy. An employee strike can cause project progress to stagnate. If the construction level specified in the project schedule is not achieved within the specified time, 
the military has the right to use the reason of insufficient capacity to outsource them and find new investment and construction parties. By then, not only will the money spent earlier be wasted, but the 500 billion yuan deposit will also be gone. Although Tang Ranran also has the intention of patting her bottom and leaving, she can only continue to do so with such a big Mount Taishan as bankruptcy pressing on her. I'm telling you, this project is only allowed to succeed and not fail, otherwise, I'll cover up and get lost. Tang Ranran finished roaring like gunpowder, and the conference room fell silent for a moment. No one wanted to be the one who hit the gun. End of this chapter